Lesser Known Traits of Queen Victoria Hey folks! How are you doing? Victoria was an important figure in the history of Queens, and her fascinating life continues to inspire storytellers, even today. You've probably heard of the long-reigning British monarch, but there's a lot more to Victoria that will surprise you. And that's what we'll discover in today's video. The Grandmother of Europe The nickname, the Grandmother of Europe, was given to Queen Victoria towards the end of her reign. The reason why Victoria was given this nickname was that most of her children married into European families and her grandsons did the same. The houses of Battenberg, Denmark, Prussia, Russia, Schleswig-Holstein, and Waldeck were where Queen Victoria's children were married. She has more than one notable grandchild, including Queen Sophie of Greece, Emperor Wilhelm II of Germany, and Tsarina Alex of Russia. Queen Victoria proposed to her husband. Queen Victoria proposed to her prince after four years of friendship. She had no choice because a man couldn't propose to the queen, according to tradition. The couple got married in the 1840s. Victoria popularized the white wedding dress. In those days, women used to wear their best dresses to their weddings. Victoria wore a white gown with a lot of onnit and lace, which was an imitation of old. She wore a wreath of orange blossom on her head and a diamond necklace and earrings with Albert's wedding present. The tradition of the white wedding dress began after this, when white became highly fashionable. Hey, would you prefer a white dress for your wedding, or would you go with some other color? Tell us in comments. She survived eight assassination attempts. Queen Victoria was one of the lucky ones, as she was one of the longest reigning monarchs. Would-be assassins tried to kill her on at least eight occasions, most of which were when she rode in her open carriage. There was also a stalker behind the queen. A man by the name of Edward Jones broke into the royal residence at Buckingham Palace several times and was eventually caught, but not before he stole her underwear. Queen Victoria was an artist and writer. Victoria loved to paint, draw, and write, and pursued many of her artistic interests throughout her life. She accumulated 120 handwritten diaries and filled notebooks with sketches and illustrations of family members and places of interest. Now that you have come halfway to this video, hit the like button if you have liked it so far, also subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so you don't miss out on any video. The Carrier of the Royal Disease In the 19th and 20th centuries, the royal families of England, Germany, Russia, and Spain were affected by a disease called the Royal Disease, which is believed to have been carried by Queen Victoria. Three of her nine children had this disease, and it was passed on as a trait by her. Leopold, a sickly child, was the first to die from a hemorrhage after a fall. The disease was passed on to several of Queen Victoria's children by her daughters. The disease was passed on for three generations after Queen Victoria's death. She was multilingual. The young queen was well-versed in both English and German. Victoria grew up speaking these languages and used them frequently when speaking to her German husband, Prince Albert of Saxe-Coburg and Gotha. French, Italian, and Latin are some of the languages that the Queen studied. The first member of the royal family to live at Buckingham Palace Queen Victoria moved into Buckingham Palace after her accession to the throne. The palace was previously owned by her late uncle King William IV. Queen Victoria was the first reigning monarch to reside at Buckingham, though her move did not go without difficulties. The royal family's website states that her marriage to Prince Albert in 1840 showed up the palace's weaknesses. If Queen Victoria intended the palace to be a family home, it would need to be renovated, to the point that it was in need of extreme renovations. Buckingham continues to serve as a place of royal business, and the London residence of Queen Elizabeth, years after Victoria added an entirely new wing. 
Victoria was one of the first notable people to test out chloroform. During the birth of her youngest son, Leopold, Queen Victoria was given a controversial new drug called chloroform by her physician, Jon Snow. She said that the drug was delightful beyond measure. Her first name wasn't Victoria. Queen Victoria preferred to go by her second name, or the nickname, Drina, even though she was originally named Alexandrina Victoria, after her uncle, the late Alexander I. Victoria was fifth in the line of succession for the British crown, at birth, behind the four eldest sons of George III, as well as her father, Edward. Do you like to be called by nicknames? Tell us your nickname in comments. So that was the video guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. We will be back with another video next week, until then bye. Stay tuned with facts, folks, and fun, for more such content. Also, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and press the bell icon so you don't miss out on any video. Do share the video with your friends.